A printed circuit board is a set of conductive layers separated by a dielectric. In addition to the conductive layers, there are other layers on the board, such as solder mask and silk screen overlay. The definition of the PCB layer stack is a critical element of a successful printed circuit board. When designing the board, you need to determine the thickness of the board, its structure, material type, and the number of layers. When creating a new PCB file in Altium Designer, by default, a double-sided printed circuit board with solder mask and silkscreen overlays is added to the project. We can view and edit the layer stack by using the layer stack manager. To open the layer stack manager menu, select Design, Layer Stack Manager. The layer stack manager opens as a document in the same way as a schematic sheet or a PCB document. And once in the layer stack manager, if necessary, it is possible to change the layer stack units using the Tools menu, Tools, Measurement Units. The layer stack information is shown in a tabular format. The columns display the layer name, the material, layer type, layer thickness and the dielectric constant as well as copper weight. By selecting a layer we can display its properties in the properties panel. If the panel is not displayed it can be enabled from the panels tab at the bottom right. The properties panel also displays the total thickness of the board and if necessary we can change the thickness of the materials manually. For example let's change the thickness of the dielectric to 1.4 millimeters. Notice by looking in the properties panel, the total thickness of the board has now changed. In addition, a predefined material can also be selected from the materials library. By clicking the ellipse button in the materials cell for the selected layer, we can choose a different dielectric, in this case, Core 043. In the same way, we can select a predefined copper foil thickness of 0.018 mm from the material library. Notice the same material was automatically selected for the bottom layer. This is because the stack symmetry was enabled in the properties panel. If necessary, we can add additional layers to the board stack. To do this, right mouse click and select which side of the board we want to place the new layer on. For the outer layer, let's add a surface finish. Now that the stack for the two layer board is complete, it is important to save the file so that it applies to the circuit board. Next, let's create a multi-layer board stack. To add additional conductive layers, right click on the top layer and insert a layer below. We can add layers such as signal, plane as well as dielectric. Let's select a layer type signal. In this case, two conductive layers are added at once. This is because stack symmetry is enabled in the properties panel. Dielectric layers are added automatically between conductive layers. These can be core or prepeg. And if needed, it is possible to add multiple prepegs. For the resulting four layer board, we need to adjust the thickness of the materials. We'll do this by selecting the necessary materials from the materials library. Remember to check the total thickness of the board in the properties panel. Also if desired, we can change the names of the layers. Let's change the names for the inner layers to GND and VDD. These names will be displayed in the PCB editor. It is also possible to change the layer types from signal layer to plane and from plane layer to signal. And if we wanted to change the layer type only for let's say the GND layer, we would need to uncheck the stack symmetry in the properties panel. If necessary, layers can be deleted by right mouse click and selecting delete layer. But be mindful when deleting conductive layers, all primitives and any elements found on them will also be deleted. After saving the stack file, a new stack layer will be applied to the printed circuit board and tabs for any additional layers will appear at the bottom of the PCB editor.